Today we're going to be creating a cron using AWS Lambda. So we're going to go ahead and start this all from scratch. So we're in Lambda functions, make dir uh, demo cron cd into it code dot for vs code. And let me get rid of my text so y'all can't see those in case I accidentally put them on the screen. Okie dokie. So first we go to terminal and then we have to npm init. And then go to the package JSON and type module so we can use ES6 imports and then create index.js and then we have to do const uh, oh wait, export const handler, handler, and then beautiful. They do it for us, and then yeah, we just write the code that we want executed. So for this, we will just log hello world, and yeah, you do all your other stuff just right here. So it's just a regular function. I don't even think we need to do anything. I don't think we need to return, but let's just return for the heck of it. This is where you do all your logic. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna put anything else. And then we need this handy script here that we'll put in package JSON, and that is to zip everything up. So this is demo cron. So then all we just have to do is npm run zip, zips it up. Oh yeah, we don't have any packages or anything. Beautiful. So then we're going to create a function. Demo cron. Then we might need to increase the configuration timeout if you have like actual code that you're running instead of just a log. And then let's go ahead and see if we can test it and see what comes back. Hello from Lambda. Oh, yeah, wait a second. I need to upload the code first. So upload zip file. So we're gonna go to documents, Lambda functions, demo cron zip. That's tiny. So then we're going to test that again, see if we get. How do I get rid of that test? I don't know. Execution result. I don't know. I usually don't use this test thing. Test. Right, it's null, but it should, yeah, hello world is in the log right there. Perfect. So then we're going to add a trigger, and then this is going to be. An event bridge, yep, right here. So we're gonna do it for every, nah, we're gonna use an existing rule and every minute, boom. So if you need to create a new rule, then um, there's information about how to do that, like rate, you can use their, their own thing, rate right here, or you can use a cron expression. And if you ever need to look up a cron expression, just like cron expression, like once a minute. And then, yeah, CronTab Guru has some good stuff here. Or you can use ChatGPT, which might be even better. So then, I think that'll just run. So that's enabled. And if we go over here to Monitor and view CloudWatch. Let's see if this thing is running. So 1202.51. So yeah, I think that went ahead and ran. And then we're going to resume watching events and see if there's another hello world that comes in here. And yeah, maybe I'll pause this right now. 
So this one just came in. So yep, it's running every minute. So that cron is working. So yeah, now it'll just execute whatever is in that handler right here will be executed every minute. So that's it.